A large crowd of friends and family gathering Sunday in South Florida to say farewell to Ryan Urey. The 23 year old had been missing since February 2nd after he was last seen leaving Andrews Bar and Grill after watching the Super Bowl with friends. His body was found last week in an empty building in downtown Tallahassee. On Sunday, friends and family gathering in Davie, Florida to say farewell and to release balloons in Yuri's memory. Carlos Suarez with our affiliate WPLG was there at Bonaventura Church and has more. Family and friends wore Hawaiian shirts to remember him. They hugged outside St. Bonaventure Catholic Church in Davie before making their way inside for the service. It's here where loved ones said their goodbyes to 23-year-old Ryan Yuri. After the service, they gathered outside of the church and released yellow balloons in his memory. We'll always think about him. He's always in our hearts. And, you know, we'll miss him every day, but... You know, we we know he's home now. The funeral comes nearly a week after his body was found in an abandoned building in Tallahassee. Yuri went missing earlier this month. An FSU student from Weston, he was last seen leaving a bar on Super Bowl Sunday. It's more heartbreaking than your son missing. Um, it is, uh, there is some relief, you know, knowing that he's not wandering out there, knowing he didn't get abducted, knowing he's, you know, he's, he's nowhere where someone's going to find him. Sunday's funeral will bring a small measure of closure for the family. Investigators have yet to say what the 23 year old was doing on the roof of the abandoned building or how he ended up dead inside of it. When your kids are three years old and six years old and eight years old, they leave for school and you worry about them. And, you know, when you're 23 years old, you know, everyone's an adult, but they're still your children, and um, that's how we felt about Ryan. Now, autopsy results are expected to be released in the next six to eight weeks. Tallahassee police investigators tell me at this time they do not suspect foul play.